Okay, so my um, last little episode, um, the battery ran out, so it just kind of paused right in the middle. So anyway, I'm back, fresh batteries, new day. Um, so what I did is I, I restrang, restrung um, the cords again, and this time I, I did this going from the top left to the bottom left, bottom right to the top right. Um, and I did put a marker on the, the cord that I started with and what I did notice is that when you do go from top left to bottom left that when you start on um, 32 um, instead of going counterclockwise to 24 you end up going clockwise to number eight. So I'll do just a few more so that I'm again straddling the dots. And bear with me because this is not the way I normally do it. So, <laughs> um, anyway. Okay, so now again I'm, I'm straddling the dots and instead of the cord that I started with being on dot 24, it's on dot uh, 7, I'm sorry, dot 8. Um, and you can see it's the one that has the little gold marker in it. Um, so that's where I would start dropping the beads down. And again, like I said, you have to bear with me because I normally go in the opposite direction. So this is new for me. And I believe that the finished product here, based on what other people have said and um, the fact that it is going in the complete opposite direction, is that the spiral on this one will be, will be going the other way. Um, so I'm going to pause the camera again and come back and show you the end result. Okay, I am back. Um, so um, I hope you could see that this is the, the, the braid that I did the other day going from top right, bottom right, bottom left to top left and then this is the one I just started doing um, in the opposite direction. And you could see that the spiral on this one is going from the bottom right to top left and the other one is going bottom left to top right. So it's going in a, I don't know what you would call that, uh, from <laughs> from uh, south, east to north, west. No, I said that backwards. Anyway, you can see for yourself um, that the braid itself is going in the opposite direction. All right, so that with, uh, with a simple pattern like this where it's just a spiral, um, that really doesn't matter. Um, but what I don't know is with one of the patterns where it's a little more intricate, where every other bead is forming your pattern, um, you know, what, what the difference would be if you braided in this method. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to restring um, the cords using um, a more intricate pattern um, and I'll continue braiding from the top left to bottom left, bottom right to top right to see what it does to a pattern that's written for going in the opposite direction. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay, so once again I'm back. I have loaded up my strands with the um, pop on top pattern um, and normally um, I, know, I would have been going in the opposite direction and I would have started dropping beads with right 24 but since now I'm going in the opposite direction um, I've ended up on the dot number 8 and instead of going with the right cord I'm going to be going with the left cord first um, because that's what we're trying to um, demonstrate here so um, I will start doing a few rows 
and once again I'm going to you know pause the camera so that um, you don't have to see me um, you know braiding I've only got uh, eight beads on here um, so it shouldn't take me that long but because I'm going in the opposite direction from what I normally do it is taking me just a tad longer so um but just from what I'm starting to see here is that the pattern looks like it's working just fine um you know going in the opposite direction from what I normally do um so like I said I will continue braiding in this fashion and then I will come back all right I'm back once again and as you can see the uh, pattern did not go successfully um, so instead of popping on top we're popping all over the place um, so um, it kind of proves my theory that if you do the top left bottom left and then bottom right to top right um, with some more intricate um, patterns that you're not going to be successful um, uh, what I will try to do is um, modify this pattern to see if I can get it to go right so I can give you some words of advice as to if you are the type braider who does the top left as your first move um, how you can convert a pattern so that it worked properly um, so again I will be right back thank you all right I am back one more time so what I discovered is if you do start with your top left cord and you're working with one of my patterns and the pattern says to load the disc clockwise if you then instead load it counterclockwise um, and then braid basically counterclockwise from the way the original pattern is written um, it will come out correctly um, so I'm, I'm demonstrating that now that um, my pop on top pattern loaded counterclockwise from what it says in the directions and then braiding it from the top left to bottom left I'm sorry I'm not actually in the camera here um, that the pattern is coming out correctly um, so I'm glad that it was a kind of a simple fix um, so anyway you can see that the pop on top is working that all of the mags are on one side and the seed beads are on the other and so what I did was um, you know where it says to start loading in to the left of 32 I took that cord and put it in the right of 32 and then took the rest of the cords and instead of you know starting you know it's the, the the normal pattern says to start to the left of 32 and then move clockwise which would mean your next cord down would go here and then your next cord would go between 7 and 8 and then between 8 and 9 etc what you'll do is you'll put the first cord to the right of 32 take the next cord put it to the left of 32 and then turn counterclockwise and your third pattern down will go to the right of 24 and then the left of 24 continuing on going to the right of 16 the left of 16 and finishing with the right of 8 the left of eight um, and then you can start your pattern you know moving with the cord that's in um, you know to the left of 32 moving that one down doing your you know 32 warps and then start dropping your beads with the one that's in between the seven and the eight or the, or the left of dot eight okay so I hope that helps um, those of you who work um, 
you know, in the opposite direction of what my patterns are written. Um, and then I want to just finish up with one extra little uh, tidbit that um, how I was taught is, you know, so when you're, when you're working, um, you always want to have the, the cord, let me go up close, the cord that's going up and over the, the, the top when it's time for you to be dropping beads those should be going horizontal on your disc and that way when you you know drop it down you'll be in the right position um, and that works whether you're doing it from the bottom or the top or from the left or the right it just because then you do your quarter turn again the one that's going over the top should be in the horizontal position and that way you know if the doorbell rings and you have to jump up and you didn't remember to you know to leave the three cords on one side or one on the other when you pick your disc up you should know where you left off and as long as when you pick it up you keep the cord that's going over the top in the horizontal position you're good to go um, so that's it folks um, I hope I've answered a lot of the questions that have come up on the Facebook page um, and I hope you'll find this you know helpful if not well then ignore it <laughs> that's all I can say but um, you know it's just amazing that we all work with this remarkable technique of braiding and we all do it slightly different and come up with almost the exact results um you know i find that just as remarkable as we're all human beings but we're also different um so that's it i'm signing off thank you